sad reminders of the murderous attack in February 2015, in which 86 members of the Agatuk community were massacred by suspected herdsmen. The grave site where victims were buried, leaving behind several persons injured, houses burnt down, and survivors wailing in anguish. The spectre of the bloody attacks has reared its head again barely two weeks after a peace deal was brokered between the farmers and herdsmen and presided over by the governors of Nasarawa and Benue. The Benue State Deputy Governor visits the affected community in a Gatu local government area to assure them of government's commitment to their welfare. And the Deputy Governor of Nasarawa State, Mr. Silas Agara, also confirms that both the governors of Benue and Nasarawa will visit the community in an effort to rebuild the peace. The government is intensifying effort to see that uh, such a school is maintained and to ensure that uh, the two governors, uh, of course, are in the forefront of mobilizing the subject, our uh, subject to respect the peace accord. I want to assure you that uh, very soon the two governors will be in Agatu uh, to interact and to interface with the community, with the Agatus. The upcoming peace meeting is to hold on both banks of the river Benue, which is a natural boundary between communities in Nasarawa and Benue states. We'll make a peace to them, to we'll learn ways of living together, to accept one another and live as uh, brothers and sisters because the herdsmen they too should have the right to graze but at the same time should not trespass on people's farms. The farmer should also do his normal farm work. They should also restrain from attacking Despite meetings aimed at restoring peace, clashes between herdsmen and farmers still persist, and so a more permanent solution beyond the verbal commitments is required to put an end to the bloodletting, especially in the remote areas, once and for all.